Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up by removing our bed frame which killed our ferret. Helpful for ferret owners. I'll start this off by saying I'm still in disbelief by what has happened. We had four ferrets and now as of today we only have three. Our ferret named Peaches, who was a girl, has passed away under very unfortunate and surprising circumstances. I'll start by saying that our ferrets are completely free roam. We have completely ferret proofed our apartment and have not had any problems in the year we have kept our ferrets here. Everything changed only a day ago when we took away the bed frame to our mattress. I think you know where this is going. You see, our bed frame starting collapsing badly on one side of the frame about a couple of months ago and just a day ago from now we decided to simply take it away and let the mattress lie on the floor while we choose a new bed frame. We didn't think anything of it. I thought something was wrong yesterday when Peaches didn't show up to play in the evening. She is well known for being antisocial with our other ferrets and hiding away in places she doesn't belong. Even so, she always shows up in the morning and evening with the rest of the ferrets for playtime. My anxiety was getting the best of me and this morning I started looking everywhere for her, but we didn't find her. Well, I went to sleep, cause I work night shift and sleep during the day, while waiting for my so to come home. Peaches still hadn't shown up anywhere and we both agreed something was wrong. I'll spare you the bad details, but she had obviously died underneath the mattress where we found her. I think she suffocated while sleeping and then got crushed. It was horrifying to see her like that and we are both upset this is how she died. Yes, Peaches was well known for getting into places she didn't belong, but we never imagined she would die like this. What I have learned from this, is that no matter how much you try and ferret proof your home slash apartment, ferrets will still manage to get themselves in deadly situations. I talked with my BF, who has owned hundreds of more pets than me, from breeding, and he calmed me by letting me know that sometimes pets just do things you never expect from them. I just wanted to tell someone about this so maybe you guys can take this as an extra precaution for your ferrets. Even so, I've got to say it seems like ferrets are such mischievous and curious creators that there is only so much you can do to protect them. Kind of like babies and toddlers. Too long didn't read. We finally got rid of our destroyed bed frame from two months ago and choose to move our mattress to the floor. Our ferret tunneled under the mattress we placed on the floor and died from suffocation. I'm so sorry for your loss. Although I would not count it as UF hash percenting up, it's still quite tragic. Hopefully you have good memories of Peaches. Thank you for this. We do have good memories of her, including pictures and videos. It might not necessarily be me and my so fucking up in normal regards, but we're still upset about it. Holy shot I just read this in r slash ferrets made me wanna cry reading it. Trust me it's not your fault and I get so worried when he runs under my metal bed frame. But my frame is solid, should be I just bought it, but I've heard good things about it. It kills me to hear that your poor baby went out like that though. My childhood ferret died in a similar way. We had a wire cage with a simple metal latch and he was able to push the door out just enough to get his head through, but not the rest of his body. I'm assuming it was too tight to pull his head back out, and he must have suffocated from his head being pinched in the door. You can do your best to proof your home for the safety of pets or kids, but it's impossible to think of every possible accident they may have. Don't blame yourself. I miss my girls and this is so sad. Colon. I'm really sorry for your loss op. This wasn't your fault either. I'm sure Peaches was a good ferret. Today I fucked up by eating messily in London. This happened years ago, but still haunts me. I was in London for a multi-day conference in 2015. I am a white American guy in his 30s. One day, after the speakers had finished, some of us decided to go to a proper English pub. At the pub, we got a high table for six with stools but more people than we expected showed up, so it ended up being one of those awkward situations where you've got ten people sitting around a table for six and there is some distance from each seated person and the table. Nevertheless, some of us ordered food. I guess I had fish and chips or something like that, 
as did several other people. Everybody was talking, eating, and drinking, disgustingly warm, English ale. But nobody knew anybody else so it was kind of a weird shouting into the middle of the table situation. These were all computer nerds, it was even more awkward than I can adequately describe here. At some point during the conversation slash meal, I noticed a little speck of wet, chewed food on my right hand, on top sort of between the index finger knuckle and the thumb knuckle. I figured it had flown out of my mouth when I was talking or something. No matter. So I sort of reflexively sucked it off my hand. Then the guy to my left looked at me and said, sorry. To this day, any time London is mentioned in movies, commercials, conversation, whatever, I cringe thinking of this incident. It comes up so often and bothers me so much that I've actually thought of going back to London, after Covid, just to make some more London memories to hopefully crowd this one out. Too long didn't read, I sucked some of my chewed food off my hand during a pub meal. Turns out it wasn't mine. Now I'm tortured by any reference to London. He just saved you the trouble of chewing it yourself, really it was very caring of him to accept you into the pack that way. I gasped out loud in horror, then I laughed. I don't understand. I think the hand. Disgustingly warm, English ale. This always confused me. As a British person, Americans have asked me if beer is served warm here quite a few times, and I'm not really sure where that belief comes from. The only warmed alcohol I can think of right now is port at Christmas time. I mean, you could have ordered a Budweiser with ice if you wanted. So which wasn't yours? The hand or the food on the finger. The food wasn't his. Today I fucked up screen sharing to my entire class the kinky porn I watch. It was 4pm and the next day I had a video presentation to present in class. I was very stressed, so before I worked I figured that I would wank to my, rather kinky porn. It involved fisting and people sticking their feet in genitals. I watched it on my phone. After. I swiped home without closing the tab. I realized that I had to start my presentation, it was already late enough and the class was the first class tomorrow. I opened up the video software on my school computer and began working. Because I saved it till the last day I stayed up until 4am working on it. The next day I barely woke up on time. I felt very spacey and tired. I realized I had to get the hell up and go to school, so I rushed downstairs to grab my backpack and throw on my shoes. I forgot that I had left my laptop by my bed and assumed that it was in my laptop case, which was already in my backpack. Although I hustled I was too late and missed the buzz. Luckily, I got my brother to take me to school, who was also running late but had a car, which he agreed to give me a ride in. I barely made it into class before the bell rang. I sat in my chair nervously thinking about my video. I thought it was okay but still hated that the entire class had to watch it. When it came my turn, I scrambled for my computer, but realized I had left it at home. Like an idiot. Relieved, I realized that I could go onto the website which already was bookmarked and get to the video since I was signed in through the same profile. Plugged my phone in to hook it up to the projector. I could see all my apps. I knew I had to hurry up and get my video open. I was frantic, and completely forgot about what I had watched last night on the same account. I opened up the browser to click on the bookmark, but was met in the face with my deceptive surprise. It showed a crude thumbnail with a guy fisting a girl. The video was titled Old Milf Takes Fist Like a Champ. As it opens up, I nearly have a heart attack and close back down the browser. Sadly, everyone got a good glance at it. Even the teacher. There was silence, then a kid said WTF and kids started laughing. I could not deal with it. I ran out of the class and requested a pickup. I am now arranging to be out into a different class. I fucked up big time and my high school life will never be the same. Too long didn't read, accidentally used my personal account for a school project that had porn on it. I projected it for the whole class to see. Always close the porn tab. Or use incognito mode really. 
A friend of mine was released from jail after a few months and was staying at my place. Literally the first thing he asked me was to use my phone so he could watch some porn. Let him and when he came back I was curious to see if he covered his tracks. He left the damn private dab open and it was fucking scat porn. I will never let him forget it either. I will never let him forget it either. Do you periodically take a shit in front of him while shouting yeah? You like that? Don't hide from it. it. Go back to class and joke about it. Just say you hope they liked your presentation and watch out for the next one. This. People will only make a big deal about it if you do. You'll be fine. That's a funny porn story so use it to your advantage and laugh about it. Hiding from the incident will only ensure that people hear more about it and speculate. We all have errors when we're tired and you shouldn't worry about ruining your high school life over something like this. Bro just play this off as you got paid to do it as a prank. Taint no biggie. Good idea.